For the first 45 minutes at Oxford, the malaise of a four-match run without a win lingered over Leeds. John Dernin sent them behind, and when Neil Simpson added a second, the critics were ready to crow. They reckoned without Leeds' fighting spirit and Chapman's finishing power. The big fella made it five in nine starts and Leeds were back in. The revival continued as Berardi reminded everyone that he too was in for his goal-scoring prowess. Chris Fairclough ended a three-month barren spell in front of goal with a timely and elegant addition, and the revival had become a transformation. Howard Wilkinson, with Batty and Kamara suspended, brought in Glyn Snowden, relegated John Hendry to substitute, and called up a youngster who'd spent much of the season on the bench himself. It was a masterly stroke as Gary Speed punished Foster to make a goal for Chapman, who later angered the manager by taking a penalty that would have given him a hat-trick. It didn't because he missed it and Mr Wilkinson, with an anxious eye on goal difference, was not best pleased. <laughs> 